Packer. I'm the day of Packer. Mm. So usually like what happens is, uh, you know, I just pack up the day before I go on a big trip and just put everything in a suitcase. And so it's probably good that I'm up this early just so I can make sure that I'm not like dragging and just kind of, you know, just being just kind of slow or just kind of because, you know, you always think you have more time than you actually have. So, yeah. Yeah, like I get that, especially with like packing, man. Like I've always been someone that would wait until the last minute, man. And then it's like it always takes a little longer than you think, man. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, dang, I need to get this. I need this, you know, like. Right, uh, right, right, right. There we go, man. So this is like kind of, it's just, I mean, it's nothing, nothing formal about this. It's literally just us having a conversation. And um, okay. I don't know if you saw. I did post like a clip of um, one that I did with one of my other clients on my Instagram, but yeah, you know, just like a, we, we you know, I, I just thought of, you know, maybe this would be a better way of doing like um, client testimonials is just actually having a conversation with. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so I did that with him. His name is Greg. So I did that with him. I've been working with him for, it's been like a over a year now. He was one of the first online clients I worked with, so it it, it turned out well. It turned out good, man. It was fun. Um, so yeah, I decided you know let's how about you know I was like you know let, let me reach out to Chris, man. Um, let me reach out to Mister Chris over here. So yeah, man, nothing special, but um, yeah, everything going pretty good with you. No, everything is going well with me. Like I don't know, like I really do think that you know i don't know like i think that like it's interesting though everything the, everything is going well it's just like my old manisms are starting to kind of break out really really and i think honestly like i was telling you before it's just a fact that you know you don't know what you don't know and like there's so much encompassed in working out and being healthy it's just like water i think that because i'm not drinking enough water my muscles are really tight and it's like ridiculously tight nowadays. And usually I drink like a shit ton of water, but like lately I've been lagging and I can feel it. And so it's just like, I just need, cause like I've been getting massages or whatnot, but like, I just really need to drink a little bit more water. And that's the only thing I think about because when I woke up this morning, I felt a little bit stiff. Um, but other than that, everything is good. There we go, man. Um, there's always, I mean, there's always improvements to be made. You know, that's the part of the game here, man. But, you know, let's kind of dive into, like, you know, we've been working together for a little while now, man. Um, obviously, we started in person before we transitioned to doing everything online. Um, you know, yeah, like, yeah. how, where, where were you before, you know, we started working together? You know, if we, if we, you know, if, take a flashback you know we'll go back in well, time so yeah. honestly like I, I i remember it like i remember it vividly like literally i wanted to i was planning on what we started working together what maybe 22 um of in september and i literally had a trip that i wanted to get ready for that, that was in october and I really, and I, and I walk in the office and I'm like, okay, what can I do for just a month, right? And then we we're talking about, you know, what the fuck are you going to do for like a month? And like, it was just one of those things where like, I just wanted an immediate goal. And then it just kind of talked about, you know, just kind of lifestyle choices after that. And I think like initially, like it was like one month and then we did six months and then afterwards, it's just been kind of, I'm not really working towards anything, but I'm just kind of on a journey of, like, self-improvement and just kind of like, okay, like, you know, like what we talk, you talked about before, it's just like, I'm not necessarily looking for, like, a specific body type or a physique or whatnot. It's more so, okay, learning how to do things, learning how to do it right making healthier lifestyle choices and that's kind of where i've been at and that's been kind of the motivating factors i mean we can we're i mean it's a very superficial society right but there's more than this to me that i've learned you know it's just like this whole learning process 
that you, you, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> yeah. And so like, you know, where were you, you know, just, you know, not just physically like, you know, what was going on before you started like, you know, reaching out for a trainer, you know, like what was happening there, you know, how was, so, how, how yeah. was your life? Yeah. So, I mean, pretty much I was working, um, you know, I, you know, I was in school, I was working, you know, just work in school, nothing particular. I had been working with a nutritionist, like probably like a year or so ago, which I had stopped. Um, so yeah, like that was kind of like the first thing that I kind of started me on this kind of lifestyle journey, if you will, just like working with the nutritionist. I was very big into keto low carbing and all those things and I was reading a lot about you know what you can do to lose weight which is kind of where I had like this kind of false perception of carbs and fat mm -hmm. and proteins and all that business and you know I guess you know that's kind of where I lived before just because you know I had been doing low carbing and keto lifestyle since what since I was like 19 20 so it's kind of what I knew. Um, and so when I first started working with the nutritionist, she, she's like, okay, carbs are not bad. You know, obviously tracking your food is really good. And I, that's kind of been instrumental in just being overly healthy, um, actually just knowing what you eat. Um, and I guess with that, you know, I guess incorporating that into actually you know, how that factors into overall physical functioning, not working out, but just overall physical functioning. Mm, yeah. So that was, you know, like the start, um, you know, how was, you know, like how was training back then? Um, training was challenging. Like I remember... <laughs> I remember specifically, like, you know, when we were doing leg presses and you were, you know, we were let's doing go, well, let's, 45. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Before, before we were working together, how was your, were you working out really consistently? Or? Oh, so I did. So I, I did uh, Orange Theory. Um, I really wasn't working out too much. Like, I really didn't have anything about... Um, yeah, I really, I, I really, like, I, I wasn't working out. I was one of those people that, like, I, I, I talked a lot of people and I did a lot of, like, research and kind of investigate about things, but, like, I thought more than I actually did, right? Oh, so I was okay, looking okay. at the best exercises and I was looking at how to do things, you know, and, like, what exercises work well, you know, versus a push pull and all of these various sets and so I will say the one thing that really kind of worked with me is just kind of like I did orange theory for a period of time um just because it was one of those things to where like you didn't think anymore you just had people tell you what to do <laughs> yeah but it was very it was very kind of cardiac focused, right? And it was good, but I mean, like I said, I wanted to do more muscle training, I guess. Um, and of course I read that muscle training was better than cardio. So that's kind of where I was with that, so. Okay, yeah, so that was, those were, yeah, it was a while back, man. Um, you know, um, we were, it's crazy how time flies now, but um, yeah, just, yeah, I wanted to, obviously, yeah, it sounds like, you know, you really were not, you know, consistently necessarily weight training too much back then. Um, and obviously right. your diet was different, you know, following the ketogenic diet was certainly different than what you're doing now. Um, so diet was definitely different. It sounds like, you know, the training or the routine there was a lot different um, and whatnot. So now, you know, we've been working together for well, yeah, since 2022, man. Um, yeah. And yeah, we made that transition. You know, we were working together for a while in person, of course, until we transitioned, you know, to training online, um, which I think that was maybe around March or something of this year. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, February, yeah. March. Um, but 
you know, since we've been doing like a lot of, yeah, since we transitioned to the online, man, you know, um, how's that been, you know, like how's like, I, this is what I did last, the last interview, I just kind of, you know, asked about different parts of the um, online coaching. So like, you know, obviously having that structured workout routine, how's that been, you know, having like a plan when you go in the gym? Well, I think it's good. Like for whatever reason, like, I don't know, like I, it's interesting, you know, that over the last six months, I definitely laid down a good foundation. We're working together, but like the results that I saw, and I don't even know how to tangibly describe it, to be frankly honest, but like, I really saw results from like that whole cutting phase that you had me on. Um, from like March into the summer, right? And it was interesting. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but like I guess like I mean I you know maybe it was just like I don't know. Like I because it's funny because like I actually thought I found myself thinking about that a while back ago. It's like from like September to February we were I was working in the gym together with you and then another trainer for a period of time and maybe I guess it wasn't as intense and maybe I think probably like it was a dedicated four days in the gym right um and I think that you know sometimes like maybe I may have not pushed myself but like when I have like this kind of format in front of me that I need to get through it and then again, I I kind of hear it's just like I also want to do like PRs a lot. Um, or personal best. Yeah, personal best. Um and the, I don't know, like for whatever reason, like I like I remember when we first started working out, I would easily spend like an hour in the gym, and now I don't even think twice if it's two hours in the gym. And it's funny because I'm not even really doing cardio like I was. But like, I don't know, it just works. And I, and I can't explain it. And sometimes it's one of those things that I guess it's best if you can't explain it, because I try to intellectualize a whole lot of things. So it's just a matter of just kind of trusting the process, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. And obviously, I think a big part of it has been, you know, especially since we transitioned to online, man, a big focus there, you know, was the tracking you know, tracking the macros, man, you know, um, yeah. and obviously the training as well, you know, prioritizing the training, of course. Um, and then also, you know, having these set macro targets to, you know, to yeah. aim, aim to hit. And, you know, that's, that's a big, that's going to play the biggest part whenever you're trying to diet down is, is not going to be the cardio. It's not going to be even the workouts, but it's going to be, you know, the, the diet, man. Um, and so, you know, once we started really focusing on that, man, that's when, you know, you started just seeing a lot of visual changes there. Um, and then, yeah, man, so, like, obviously, it sounds like the training, you know, has definitely played a role, man. You know, now you're used to training longer. You know, you're used to being yeah. in the gym longer. You know, you're used to pushing yourself more, too. You know, I think that's yeah. pretty obvious now. You know, like, obviously now – you know, you'll send in um, the form videos, man, the training clips. How has that been, you know, sending in training clips? I, I'm sure that's probably something you weren't really doing before, so. No, it, yeah, it's fine. And like I said, I like I appreciate, like, being in form of form, right? And especially, like, lately we've been doing a lot of knee focus and whatnot, which I really appreciate you. Um, just because, you know, a lot of these guys and people in general, it's just like you go into the gym and like you just kind of just push and you kind of do these things and you can be doing these. Like I said, you can be pushing a lot of weight and not really doing anything. It's not doing any benefit for you. Right. And I just kind of think about the goblet squats. Right. You know, let's go ahead and go as far down as we can well, I see your butt starting to cave in right now. So you're really not doing that. You know, you're not doing yourself justice, right? So you don't have to go as low, right? So again, when it comes to form versus what you're doing, I mean, obviously form supersedes, you know, the weight, right? 
Um, and as you start progressing, then you will reach that way. So I, I remember like when we were doing RDLs back in the day, you know, me being my type A type of person, I want to go ahead and get the weights all the way down to the ground, right? All the way down to the ankles. But my back is curving. Well, that's not really good for your back. Let's not do it all the way down. Let's just go ahead and reach just past the knees real quick. Now, as you get that hamstring stretching a little bit more and you get the little bit of that form together, and you'll be able to do it, right? And I think that, you know, as I'm doing the exercises, I'm actually thinking a lot about what I am doing and what my body is supposed to feel like while I'm doing it instead of just pushing weight for the sake of pushing weight. Being more intentional. Being yeah, more there you go. intentional in the gym there, man. Um, that's a, that's a big key. And obviously now, you know, you're sending in clips to me so we can, you know, look at the execution there because, you know, it's one thing to have a, you know, it's one thing just to have a plan, you know, where you have set workouts, you know, um, and you have, you know, set number of reps, you know, and, and sets that you're doing for each exercise, but, you know, that can look two different ways, you know, depending on how you perform the movements, you know, and yeah, obviously yeah. you're aware of that, you know, now for sure, man. So now, you know, you're sending in clips so we can actually, you know, make sure not only are you doing the workouts, but you're also, you know, doing each movement you know, to the best of your, to the best of your ability. So it sounds like that's, you know, made a difference, man. Definitely, definitely. Um, and even with that, man, you, you know, you're sending in the form clips also, you know, just how's it been, you know, having to check in every week, man, you know, like that process of doing the weekly check-ins and, you know, you're sending in an audio response, you know, you're not just typing it out, but I'm, you know, I've got you to, start actually sending in an audio response how's that been man so i so i will say that the accountability is a very strong force right because you know i know that you know i can bullshit over the week i can make excuses about what i need to do or why i can't do what i need to do but the accountability of just like like, I remember, like, there was a couple of times, like, like, for example, that one week where I just wasn't really tracking anything. It's just like, dude, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know? And it's just like, you made that point to where it's just like, I mean, you're working with the trainer yourself, right? And I'm working with you, right? And you told me that. And it made sense, right? It's like, you aren't doing your due diligence, if you're not holding your clients accountable for their actions, right? And again, we're all human, things happen, life happens, right? But again, don't just kind of, you know, just, you know, just don't do anything, right? Make an effort, right? And so, I mean, that's eye-opening, right? So it's like, it's like, if this is anything I can do in life, right? I can easily just say, hey, I got too much stuff going on. I can't do it, right? And it's easy just to make excuses, right? But when you have someone that's kind of saying, okay, if you can't do this, then let's try to do this. At least just put something on the table, right? Life happens. Just don't make a habit of bad decisions, right? And I think that that translates into life in general, right? And it's like, in terms of the check-ins, like, for example, last week, you and I talked about, okay, Chris, you, I'm happy you went into the gym. You didn't get as many exercises you need to get done, but we did it, right? And it's like this past week, like, I was just so, because I, like, I really wanted to check in and I really wanted to have all four exercises, well, all four sessions done, and I just fell completely short of it. Um, but like, again, I did it right. It's just like, again, I, I'm, I'm a type A person. So I like to, if I say I'm going to do something, I like to do it. Right. And so with that being said, it's just like, it's just that accountability. It's, it kind of keeps you going. Right. Um, because again, there's someone who's going to call you on your shit, essentially. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and that, and that works. <laughs> Yeah, having, I mean, I, I think that's one thing, too, is, like, you know, you can, sometimes it's, 
it's sometimes easier to let yourself down than to let somebody else down. You Yeah, know? very much Um, so. so knowing that like you're yeah, and, and I think another part too is just having like that more objective perspective come into play because Yeah. you know, obviously it's easy to Well, it's easy to not be objective when you're talking about yourself, you know, um, in your own personal situation. But then when you have, you know, somebody else that can look at it from a different point of view, that can give you insight, you know, just like even with those sessions, man, where, you know, there were those weeks where, you know, you were very busy and you weren't able to do all four of your workouts, you know, or or maybe you weren't able to do all the exercises, you know, and it a lot in your mind, it might be a situation where you view that as a, you know, as kind of like a, a bad week, because, you know, you Very didn't much. get everything done, that's written out on the plan. But, you know, it, you know, like I would have, there were some of those weeks where I had to just shift that perspective and have you realize like, hey, man, even if, you know, you can't get in the gym for a whole session, even if you can get in there just to do a few of those movements, you know, and do maybe half of the session or even, you know, like just the main compound movements of the session, even if you can do that, man, that's still better than just not showing up at all, you know, and just like skipping the whole session, you know what I mean? So sometimes it's good to have that perspective there, man, where you have somebody else that's got a more objective um opinion there or point of view so that sounds like yeah that's been big man just like having to you know check in every week and then like actually how's that been like actually having to talk you know on these check-ins versus just like Um, you know writing it out it's no it's fine like sometimes I actually prefer that because you know as we have discussed that can be a little bit long-winded sometimes so um no it's fine like it's just like again my Sundays it's like a routine that I do right so I get up I do what I have to do I take a progress pick Usually if I'm on my work or on my way to work or just getting to work, I go ahead and go to a corner somewhere and do this quickly check in because I already have everything over the week, right? And so I just kind of say what happened, right? Um, I don't know. And I and I'm I'm gonna go back to it. It's like I feel like like going forward I'm going to do diligent and stopping cutting corners right and it's like it's this whole all or nothing thing because cutting corners doesn't do anything for me it just kind of stunts the process and now that we're having this conversation it's even more evident for that um and it's just like this ruthless honesty and I will say like the biggest portion is just like a lot of what we talk about is just like Working out is working out, but I'm going to just say, like, I'm going to go back to, like, the whole diet portion. Like, lots of people have told me these things, but, like, again, you don't get it until you get it, right? Diet is so important, what you put into your body, right? And it's funny, though, because, like, you know, like, we were on this 2,600-calorie kick, And so it's just like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of food. But again, I'm not getting fat. I'm not doing all these other things. And it's funny though, because even when we were kind of trending down with the carbs for a while, I wasn't starving. And it's just like, and like, even when you do eat terribly, right? I think me specifically, I just have to change my relationship with food. Um, It's just like I said, we can have a good time. We're human. Don't go overboard if you just, you know, you have a fucking mentality, right? And sometimes if I, like, am not kind of on point with everything, I just, like, screw it. (laughs) Just got to do it. But it's like you don't have to live that way, right? And I think that kind of goes back with, like, your weekly check-ins. And it's just kind of like, okay, you did not do everything perfect in your mind, But that's okay. I mean, nobody in life is perfect. You live and you learn, you do what you can do and you move forward. And it's like every single time that I tell you that I kind of did too much or ate too much and did whatever the fuck I was doing, you say, okay, Chris, that was a day. Let's get back on track. Let's get on the rail and let's move forward. Don't dwell on that fact. 
and you said that a few different times, right? Um, so yeah, I think that you know that's kind of like being dedicated but not being rigid is the whole idea. Yeah, you know, I think part of it also is it's a lot of it's mental, man. You know, being able to because we, you know, we place these expectations on ourselves, you know, and depending on how high those expectations are, you know, that's going to determine like whether we're, you know, disappointed in ourselves or not, you know? So if you place yeah. these super high expectations that this is what you have to do, you know, and if like, say it's with the the training or the macros, you know, where you have to be 100% on point with the macros, you have to be doing all the training sessions, all the workouts, you know, all the exercises um, for that week. You know, if that's your expectation, you know, if you're, you know, not doing, you only do three of the workout, you know, three of the sessions in your mind, you know, it's going to look like a failure, you know, because you yeah. didn't meet the expectation you placed on yourself, you know? So a lot of it's just kind of shifting that, you know, and realizing like, you know, even if it's not, you know, in your mind, a perfect week, you know, it's still definitely better than it could be. You know, it, it always could have been right. worse. Than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Always, yeah. You always could have done less, you know. And so even you doing three sessions as better than if you only did two sessions, you know, um, that week. Right on. Um, you know, and even if you did, you know, a work, you know, even if you did a session and you only did like two of the movements, um, for that session that day because of time, that's still better than if you had have not showed up to the gym. Right. You know what I mean? So that's that's more so like where you know I, was, I really have been trying to get you to place your you know focus on is like yeah, even those weeks when you're busy, man, you might not come in and do everything we have planned to do but it's more so like um you know recognizing that you know you're not i mean you you have a life man and so you have other priorities as well and so obviously sometimes yeah i mean sometimes the gym is not going to be the first priority you have you know um sure. but you know we still want to you know make sure that we're still doing our best to you know still prioritize it you know and not just act like it's not a big deal at all because you know overall that is going to carry over to other parts of your life you know um right. if you're not taking care of your body man you know um that's going to carry over to everything else you do so we still want to you know that's that's why it's good to have that accountability man um but yeah man so like you know like what would like where do you think you would have been now, you know, just say, have we not transitioned online if we never, you know, if we, if you never made that step, man? I I probably, <laughs> I mean, we've seen it before and after pick. Like, I think it's so easy to just get back into bad decisions. And I think honestly, like, and again, I, I, I was, you know, just being candid. I was kind of on the fence a little bit. I'm like, do I want to do this? Because like, you know, a lot of the whole, you know, a lot of the guys who I've seen, like usually they're training for something specific, right? And I wasn't necessarily training for anything specific. I wasn't trying to look good for anybody. But like, I will say like this whole journey is just, you know, trying to make better life decisions and being healthier in general and just kind of, you know, just improving myself. And honestly, I probably, probably would have got stressed out, probably would have been back at 200 plus pounds and, you know, just kind of, I was in school and school was stressful and I probably would have just fell back into bad habits and just kind of, you know, just, you know, just kind of made excuses, right? You know, I have a gym at the house and I've had a gym at the house for the last umpteen years. Like, it's hard to get in there, even though I have it, right? Um, I stress eat like the best of them, right? So again, when it comes to, okay, I know that things are happening. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's eat this. 
Like sometimes, like, you know, you need that person to sit there and say, okay, let's do this. Okay, let's kind of get it going, right? And so I think that had I not done that, it would have just been easier to me to fall back into bad decisions, right? Um, you know, because life happens. I would have been distracted by any number of things. And like I said, like, I will say that kind of, you know, the weekly check-ins and just kind of the weekly grind at the gym has kept me grounded um, over the last few months, right? Because like it's had me to do something other than the daily grind of life in terms of like work and school and kind of getting all this excess energy that I had held up. So, I mean, it was beneficial in that sense, right? Um, it's one of those things where like it's stressful at times, but it's like, dude, I need to get to the gym, right? And it's just like, I'm happy that I did that, right? Because I can literally sit on the couch, probably eat all day and just be kind of, woe is me and blah, 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 blah. And I'm so stressed and I got so much shit to do. But let's go ahead and get something moving when it's fun because I try to do that. And it's interesting how things have changed. Like, I'll start a morning and it's just like, I got nothing really to do. And it's just like, I'll try to just kind of lay in bed all day. And it's just like, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, let me just go to the gym. <laughs> so it's like, now it's just kind of like a mindset especially if I don't have anything to do it's just like dude like I'm not doing anything let's, let's just go to the gym and I don't ever think that that would have happened in the past right it's where you really have nothing to do and you're just gonna lay around the house all day and do nothing <laughs> yeah so I think like you said man that having the accountability in place there with this plan um you know I, I, I feel like that's certainly had a played a big role, man. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm sure, you know, if you didn't have that, there probably would have been more of those weeks, man, where you just decided not to, you know, go, you know, show up at the gym. Mm, yeah. And even like, what do you think the diet would have looked like? You know? Oh, the diet would have been non-existent. Like even, when I was doing, like, that's, yeah, even when I was doing keto, like, I call myself, like, oh, just being, but like, I will, like, it's interesting, because like I said, you don't know what you don't know, but having the calories, and just kind of how the protein interacts with the carbs and fats and whatnot, um, it just, I would have probably just ate shit, I just, I really would, like, no yeah. joke, and it's just like, at least, like, and now it's just, like, I'm not necessarily eating terribly. I'm not eating terribly. But, like, there's healthier decisions and healthier options for everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, it's interesting. Like, one of the biggest kicks, like, I'm, like, when I was doing keto back in the day, I never did anything sweet. But, like, now, like, I'll just kind of have, like, raisin bread, like the really good raisin bread with like some low calorie like whipped cream on there and that's my jam like put some strawberries on that and that's pretty good i mean and there's hardly anything in there right the bread has no fat in there you know the whipped cream has like a half a half a gram of fat in there and then like i usually do sugar-free maple syrup and it's just like Dude, like when I tell you that that is on point, it's on point. <laughs> you put some strawberries on that jam. I mean, Lord Jesus, and it's it's good for you. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's it's good. It's healthier. It's not like slathered in fat. It's not like just really ungodly, unhealthy. It's like good carbs because it's not bullshit raisin bread. It's just. I mean, it's just good <laughs> well and, and i think that comes back down to you know again you know making this more like of a lifestyle now right you, you know where hey it doesn't mean you know you're on this diet and you're never eating anything that tastes good you know what i mean it's not anything like right. that you know it's just something that you know 
the the key with this is sustainability man um and now it sounds like you know even just the lifestyle you know your eating habits it sounds like you, your eating habits are different now you know but you know you're allowing yourself to have some flexibility there man but also yeah. you know you're still you know eating in a way that's in alignment with like your current goal yeah right on right on for sure and i think that recently when like long as i hit the protein i think that i mean we had the protein hit and it's just like you know, before I wasn't hitting the 2,500, it's like, Chris, as long as you hit the protein, you can do whatever you want to with everything else. That was kind of pretty good, too, because, like, some of the things, like, you know, like, I was so kind of rigid in terms of numbers, hitting specific numbers. So, like, protein is easy to hit. Like, I mean, I love meat. I love protein powders. I love all of that good stuff. So it was easy. But with everything else, because like there's so much fat in some food and not enough carbs in some food. So like lately, it's just like long as I hit that protein, fill up that 2600 calories, however you want to. And that's been kind of working for me as well. Right. Because like, like I said, sometimes certain foods have a little bit more fat in it. Some foods have a little bit more carbs in it. But like long as you're hitting that calorie target. And that protein target, those are what matters, right? And I think that that's been kind of helpful with me kind of being more on track um, because protein is more important than carbs and fat. And I definitely think from your perspective, killing the calorie target is beneficial, right? And it's interesting, though, because like, like I said, like I, I like it's a lot of food sometimes that I'm overeating over the course of the day. But again, like Coach, you're saying it's about changing our mindset about what this food is supposed to be doing, right? You know, I'm a very conscious eater. I've always considered myself a conscious eater, so it's like I'm not eating just for the sake of eating. But with this, we are making sure that number one, we are using food as energy, right? Energy over the course of the day, right? So we're not looking at it as you gaining weight or gaining fat or whatever. And with that being said, you know, even when you get on the scale, the scale is just a number, right? And even when we did the body scans, I mean, that can fluctuate any number of days, right? I mean, not only do you have bone mass, you have muscle mass, you have a lot of water weight, and water weight fluctuates more than anything, right? So that number that you get on the scale is just, you know, that's just where you are that morning, right? There's any number of things that can just, you know, make your weight fluctuate, right? Um, so only just give that a little bit of attention, right? But what are you doing over the course of the day, right? And I think it's just kind of those, that mentality that's kind of helped me um, in terms of just being a little bit easier on myself in terms of just, okay, like, and again, that's why I think that the progress picks are uh, like really important, right? It's just like, you can get on the scale, but how are your clothes fitting? How are your pictures looking? And I will tell you, like, when I look at my progress pics from when we first started working out till now, like, I'm not arrogant, but I'm impressed. <laughs> like, I'm like, I even from like, even from when we were cutting over the summer, like, and I can tell, like, I've gained a little bit of weight, but it's not bad weight. Like, yeah. I like everyone, people said that, like, I never could, like, people, even when I told them that weight, they didn't ever believe that I weighed that because it's even doubt weight, right? So it's just like, I may not be kind of lean and tone, but like, I'm beefy. <laughs> and it's interesting because I look at that and, like, it's funny though, because, like, my shoulders completely different my pecs have kind of filled out like I remember mm -hmm. when you and I started working together I talked about my legs and I'm seeing my hamstrings a little bit I'm seeing my glutes and everything looks a little bit more defined yeah so I mean like I said it may not be evident on the scale 
And I really try hard to not focus too much on the scale about, but what do I look like when I look in the mirror? And I think that that should be the primary focus. And that's kind of what I'm like really trying to focus on because like I said, some people in general, like they focus too much about what the scale looks like and just kind of compare themselves to other people. But what is the progress that you're making? And what is the trend that you're seeing, right? And the pics that I have sent from like the beginning to now, to now it's like 180% different, like for real. Yeah. And I mean, like, it's funny though, because like, I mean, like I said, I, I mean, like I said, it's just, and it's interesting. So like, I've told you, like, I mean, I've told you kind of a lot, like I'm not working towards anything specific, but now it's just like, I'm using myself as kind of like a human experiment, right? It's just like, what am I able to do? Let's see what I can do this morning. Let's see what I can do in general. Like what's, and it's just, I'm curious to see the transformation that I can make, right? Yeah. Well, in, and in terms of that, man, we do have, you know, a specific goal right now to, to add muscle, you know? So yeah. is there is a goal, not necessarily that there is this specific, you know, body part that you really are trying to bring up or something or whatnot, but still, you know, we're, the goal is to improve strength and add, add some more muscle, man. Um, But, but also, yeah, like you said, you know, we're doing it in a way that, you know, you are putting on some weight, but, you know, we're, we're focusing on quality, you know, we're not just trying to add, you know, a pound a week or something, you know, like we're trying to, you know, really just gradually, you know, increase, you know, your body weight, but also a big focus is making sure that you're improving in the gym, you know, yeah, that's, right that's, that's why we're sending in the, that's why, you're, you know, you're sending in the form clips, man, the training clips, you know, we want, your training to be better, your form to be better, you know, um, and for you to really, I think, you know, all of this overall has been for you to, to really just be your best, you know, um, yeah, absolutely. be your best absolutely. version. So, you know, it sounds like, I mean, I think that's really been like the ultimate goal with this is just, you know, you want to be your best version, man, and taking, you know, your fitness seriously, man, um, that's a huge aspect of that right you know yeah. um so the training man yeah i mean like all this yeah seeing those changes man you know like it, i mean since you've seen those changes man like you know are you are you glad that you did make that decision to i and, i am like i said so i mean we could always like we i mean like i said why i mean the whole idea is why not you know why not right so it's just like, I think like, like what you were telling me in the past, like not to say that, you know, money is whatever, but like we, I mean, me personally, like I, I need to learn how to invest in myself. Right. And so it's one of those things. It's just like, you know, like lately I'm going on a trip, right. It's going to be kind of an expensive trip, right. I'm going to go halfway across the world. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's money, but again, you're living your life. What is a life worth living if you're always working, if you're always going to school, right? What are you doing for yourself, right? And I think me, especially in my business, in my line of work, self-care is so important. And I think people don't take the time to take care of themselves, right? Oh, and yeah. taking care of yourselves can come in any number of ways and it can look different for any number of people, right? So again, some people self-care by, you know, going to the salon or doing all these other things. But like me, my terms of self-care is making sure that I'm working on my physical fitness, my mental wellness, and my overall spiritual health, right? And I think that going to the gym and just being able to check in and just making sure that I'm on point with a lot of things in my life, you know, is helpful, right? Yeah. And, you know, I, like I said, what else, like we, I mean, like I said, we, People spend money on all sorts of just random bullshit like Amazon and just going to just eat a lot and just doing crazy shit. So like I'm this minuscule amount just for the 
to make sure that I'm working on my body and translating that into healthy lifestyle decisions. I mean, that's what matters. And that's kind of what I've learned about. And like in the grand scheme of things, that's kind of what I focus on. Um, it's just like, it's healthy habits, right? I mean, like when we started this goal, it wasn't like, oh, I need to hit the gym and doing all this craziness. I need to get buff. I wanted to learn how to work out, right? I wanted to learn actually how to do the movements, right? I wanted to learn... Because I know going to the gym, being physically active, being in the medical field makes you healthier, right? So, yeah, I can be on all of these different trips, but I just know being physically active and working out from an intellectual level, especially muscle training, makes you healthier. <laughs> Yeah. And then I'm going to go crazy about it, right? Because I'm not necessarily training for anything. But again, going to the gym and having good workout habits is healthy. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's just the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so in terms of with that, man, yeah, you know, you're investing in yourself. Um, and I mean, there's a big return on that, man get a big return from investing yeah. in yourself, man. Um, and so, yeah, you know, what would you tell somebody, you know, like, you know, somebody was interested in potentially, you know, maybe they were in your situation where they were, you know, a little unsure, you know, about working with somebody, um, you know, what would, what would you tell that person that was, you know, maybe a little afraid to take that step, you know, I would, so I would say, trust the process, right? <laughs> trust the process. It's just, like I said, I I thought I knew a lot. I thought I knew what was going on. And it's for like learning. Like, again, I went back and forth with you about diet versus macros. I remember when I first showed you those macros and how I was, and he's like, dude, what the fuck is this? And it's just like, just trust the process, right? It's just like, you know, people, yeah, just trust the process, you know, just like, just you don't know what you don't know and just do it, right? I mean, we have so much time about thinking about life and whatnot. Um, you know, I would say, if anything, try it out for a few weeks, make sure, like, and just know the difference after a few weeks, right? Just, I mean, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I can't, like, I literally, like, I have learned so much and just kind of, you know, just tearing down what I thought I knew. Um, yeah, it's it's just been really interesting. I don't know how to, how, how to put it else in any words, but it's just like, you know, I've just learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um. Yeah. Um, so is this, you know, like, is this something you would recommend to somebody, you know, is like working, working with an online coach, you know, having this accountability, you know, would you act, I mean, would you seriously actually recommend that for somebody that was, you I know, would. Trying to I would, I think that, yeah, I think that for whatever, like, so there's a whole lot of tailoring things, right. And so like, you know, like I said before, I was doing with the nutritionist. I was doing online stuff. It's really kind of tailoring towards, okay, like, I mean, you can read a book. I mean, we can all read a book and we can always say these are what your macros are. But like, for example, like over the weeks, like especially in the cutting phase, right? We played around with that a lot, right? There was times where like I was doing heavier carbs and just kind of bigger macros over the weekend that didn't work. <laughs> you know, just then you all of a sudden, okay, let's try this kind of one high macros here and kind of doing this kind of weekend or weekday split like every other day. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, Chris, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> right. So it's just that more tailored treatment, right? And again, it's that whole check-in feeling because everyone is different, right? You yeah. can't treat everyone kind of blanket. Things work for people and people 
respond differently. Like my body, what I've learned throughout this process, my body is very sensitive to sugar. So, I mean, I probably should limit how much sugar that I have. Not like fruits, whatnot, but like just hard sugar. Like it's just something that I've learned that I try to stay away from, right? And so I think that targeting a plan and having someone who knows what the F they are talking about and really kind of tailoring a plan that works for you in terms of your nutrients and your macro balance and also just an overall, just your exercises, what works best for you. Like one of the things that, you know, for example, you love the hack spot. The hack squat does not love me. <laughs> so we do not do the hack squat anymore, right? So again, everybody is different, right? Yeah. And I remember <laughs> like the barbell squat was not my best friend initially, but like I have grown to actually like it, right? And I'm not going crazy on it. But again, it's one of those things where, okay, let's kind of figure out some things that work and don't work and kind of send me clips to make sure you're not just killing yourself a little bit like and it's funny though because I remember when we were first started working out virtually like we we messed around with the barbell press for a while and I started doing the dumbbells and like there was a period of time to where like my shoulders were just so jacked because of the form that I was in and we fixed it and now it's just like okay now I can go ahead and push some weight again right so it's just kind of those little things where it's like, okay, if that's not working, let's go ahead and do something different. You don't want to injure yourself. Go ahead and send me some clips, especially if it's not looking right, so we can go ahead and fix it, right? You're just not in the gym for the sake of being in the gym, because if you're in the sake for the gym, for being in the gym, that's how you can injure yourself, right? And I remember you telling me about some dude wanted to sit there and give me some pointers about how I should do some exercise. He's like, Chris, don't listen to that guy. <laughs> Just show me a clip and tell me what's going on. Because again, we can compare people in the gym. And there are people who I look at in the gym and I'm just like, dude, their form is just terrible. <laughs> They're just doing movements for the sake of doing movements. Yeah, I'm just like okay, we'll just go ahead and just be on my shit. They can be on their shit. We'll call it a day. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's what it's about, man. Is you know you're on your own path here, and there's all these people doing this and doing that, especially in the fitness game, man. You know, there's all kinds of different um diets people follow or different training styles. You know, and a lot of times there's especially when you're at the gym, man. People want to give unsolicited advice. You know, like you don't you're trying to do your thing and someone just comes up to you and like start try tries to give you advice. It's like, I didn't even ask, I didn't ask for your advice, man. You know, like I don't, yeah. thanks, but you know, like I'm good, you know? Um, <laughs> and it's just cool. You know, if the intentions are right, but a lot of times people, you know, they just want to push a certain agenda there. So, um, and also you got to look at, you know, like what is this person actually doing too? But, um, you know, so yeah, man, like, this is, I mean, I, I've certainly seen the, the changes, man, you know, since you started, man, and seen, you know, how you've grown a lot through this, man. So, um, you know, it's it's been really fun. You know, it's been really enjoyable to get to work with you like this, man, and for us to, you know, have been able to have worked together in person, but then, you know, we, you know, we still got to catch back up, you know, be reunited you know once you were able to transition to the online so we still been able to build this relationship man and you know yeah man obviously you know anybody can just like you said watch these youtube videos and learn how to do these exercises or they can you know come up with a workout routine but you know what would you say like are the three biggest effects like the actually having working with somebody like what you say are the three biggest like game changers for you like wh what has that been like compared you know because you could just have followed the routine man online yeah you know, like without working so, with somebody specifically about working with somebody how has that changed you know how has that been a game changer so nutrition number one right and i and it's funny though because like 
I didn't realize. I well, I learned out first when I was working in nutrition. Nutrition is so important, and having a tailored program that works specifically for you is important, right? Number two, form. Form is everything, right? You can do, and again, I can speak from personal experience. So it's just like, you can do these exercises, but I was not doing them correctly. <laughs> and so you can hurt yourself by not doing these exercises correctly. And you can actually be doing the complete opposite of what you intended by just not doing exercises appropriately, right? And I think that there would definitely be the accountability, the fact that you got someone in your corner who is kind of pushing you to be the best you and really kind of helping you kind of grow through those maybe lifelong falsehoods that you've had um, and just kind of being realistic with your goals with an emphasis on realistic, right? Like, for example, like, you know, a lot of times, like me personally, you know, we always want to say, try to do your personal best. But again, sometimes your personal best will be changing from week to week, right? And that's okay, right? So again, you always just kind of, you're pushing forward, but you're being realistic with what your body can do. And if it can't do that, then that's okay, right? Some week, like you told me, just drop the weight. <laughs> so, yeah. and sometimes you need someone to tell you that because you'll be trying to push yourself and then that's how you get injured. And then that's how you're out the game for however long you're out the game. And so again, it's not about these, like, it's not about doing the most, right? It's not about these quantitative things. It's about quality over quantity, right? And so the quality of the movement supersedes that. That's like one of the things that, you know, we do the warm up sets, right? Before we do the working sets, right? And I think that that's kind of awesome too, because again, it gets you in the habit. Okay, this is how this is supposed to move yeah. before you really start to put on some weight on that. So your body can get used to, because again, especially when it comes to compound movements, right? Like I remember like when I was doing my chest presses, like my shoulders are doing all sorts of crazy things, moving to the side. I really wasn't having any stability in them. And it's just, okay, Chris, <laughs> that, you're doing too much weight. Lower it down a little bit, control the movement, you know? And it's like that whole thing about just, are you controlling it, right? If you're able to control it, then that means you're in a good place. If you're struggling, moving all this way and that way, then you're doing too much weight. And people who are in the know know that. People who don't know, like myself initially, I did not know that. And I think and I've seen a few different YouTube videos and read books, and, you know, they don't mention that, right? And so, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just like, I just kind of like the tailored treatment and I like the the growth in terms of like, you know, I haven't done everything right. There's a lot of things that I've done wrong, but I've learned what not to do and I'm still learning what not to do, right? And just kind of do things better, right? So, you know, like what we were talking about being intentional when you get to the gym, right? It is just between you and the weights that you are pushing right so you know just be intentional with him that's kind of what I do and that's kind of like when I'm talking about goals yeah I can go ahead and say I'm trying to get beef or I'm trying to gain muscle but like what you were saying before you go into the gym you do what you can do you try to move the weights and you try to do the exercises the best that you can do that day and then that's it and you do that and you leave <laughs> and you go eat something <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you, know, you do that for years on end you know you stay consistent for years on end and that's how you really see those results man it's not yeah that's that's the thing like really you know at the end of the day like it's not that complicated you know what we're doing here but a lot of you know a lot of people just 
they want some instant result. And at the end of the day, yeah. it's, you know, anybody who's really been in the game and seen those results, you know, they're usually always giving a similar answer. You know, it's like being consistent, man, like continuing to learn more and apply yourself more in the gym and outside the gym, you know, um, over time, you know, if you can show up, you know, be intentional with your training sessions, you know, for years on end, man, that's where you're really going to see those results, you know. Um, so it really comes down to like, you know, are you, are you really willing to make this part of your lifestyle now, you know, or is this just something you're trying yeah, to do, for, yeah. you know, 12 weeks or something for the, for the beach. And then you're, you're done, you know, because those results aren't going to last, you know? Um, and so that's what yeah. we've been trying to do here, man, is we've been trying to, you know, really make lifestyle changes here, man, and make the gym, you know, like an integral part of your week, man. Um, and the diet as well, being mindful of your food, you know, and how you're eating, you know, that's also an integral part, you know. Um, and then, yeah, like you said, you know, having that accountability where you can check in with this person, communicate with them, you know, even if you need to message them throughout the week or something too, to be able to do that, you know, and have that tailored approach, man. Like you said, that's a big, that's a, that's a big difference, you know, and when you're not working with somebody, obviously you're not, you know, you're not getting that, um, you know, and so, yeah, and it's also like, sometimes it's more like, not necessarily a therapist, but, you know, you have that, somebody there that's kind of listening to you, can give you also just Whoa. advice, you know, that's, because part of the game is, you know, not just the physical, not just the gym, but it's like the mental side of things, man, you know, that's, that's yeah. another aspect of it, you know. Yeah, and I, and it's funny, because like, I mean, even like, I mean, it's hard. I mean, like I said, sometimes it's hard, but I think that, you know, like with anything in life, like, I mean, like I said, there is a mental game to it, right? It's just like when you are getting yourself to failure, right? And you are working out with somebody. I mean, we always say that we can't, right? Oh, it's too much. And then we got one or two left in us, right? And I think that I mean, we can do it, right? I mean, we'll always sit there and psych ourselves out, right? I remember, like, you know, when you were kind of about to do your show, like, it's just like, I mean, obviously, there's so much going through your head before that show and training and all you have to do. And it's just like, one of the things I ask is how you've been sleeping, <laughs> right? Because it's one of those things that people don't think about. I mean, like I said, it's just like, you, there's a there's a whole aspect of just being like, mentally fit right and that's kind of what I said I actually use it as a stress reliever too and it's just like and like I said I think that like what you were saying before with the consistency I think that you know I easily get distracted by life and usually take like usually this is the longest thing usually like I hit something heavy and then I kind of get over it after a while I would say this is the one thing that I've stuck to for a while, for an any extensive period of time, right? And it's just like that consistency. Like usually you get like, oh, I need to do this. And I, all of a sudden it just kind of fizzles out a little bit, right? And so, but I will say the consistency is good. Like sometimes I fall off. I feel like I've fallen off a little bit. Like even when I've gone on vacations, like I've, fizzled out a little bit but I come back and I get back to it right um and again that's because that consistency and that's kind of where we're at with that and it's just, just like and I think that that's kind of helped me from like a life standpoint and just kind of a human behavior standpoint of just being consistent with things right so if you see some benefits in something be consistent be intentional about it don't make excuses right and you know like I said, I mean, like I said, if you if there's some benefit to what you are doing, then why are you making excuses about it? You you know what you're supposed to do. So if you know better, do better, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's big, man. That's um good. Um, that's a good note to end this recording on. I'm gonna we're, we'll keep talking a little bit afterwards, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this actual <laughs> recording here, man. That's a good note to end 